वट इज क्रिएशन ऑफ कस्टमर्स क्रिएशन ऑफ कस्टमर्स का मतलब होता है अपना एक कस्टमर बेस बनाना वो कस्टमर बेस जो एक पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के प्रति लॉयल रहता है हे गाइस वेलकम टू आर चैनल माय नेम इज शिबिया लोवालिया एंड आई एम हेयर टू टीच यू बिजनेस स्टडीज टुडे इज फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ बिजनेस Now objectives of business are classified into economic objectives and social objectives. Now you must be thinking what are economic objectives? Economic objectives are those objectives which are money related. Ye wo objectives hote hain jinke bina ek business ke bare mein socha bhi nahi ja sakta. On the other hand, social objectives are those objectives which are to fulfill a business's responsibility towards the society ab aapko to pata hi hai ek business society ka part hai wo apne paise earn karta hai ya profits gain karta hai society mein apna saman bech ke so it is really very important for business to fulfill social responsibilities it is moral duty of a business to make the society better now we come towards the types of economic objectives There are broadly three types of economic objectives. The first one is profit making. Now you know profit is a key feature of business. I taught you this in our previous video. Since profit is the soul of a business, it is really important to earn it consistently and regularly. Profit ke bahut sare uses hote hain. Wo main aapko aage bataungi. The next is creation of customers. What is creation of customers? Creation of customers का मतलब होता है अपना एक कस्टमर बेस बनाना वो कस्टमर बेस जो एक पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के प्रति लॉयल रहता है और उन्हीं से प्रोडक्ट्स खरीदता है ब्रॉडली अ कस्टमर बेस इज रोली इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अ बिजनेस द बेटर द कस्टमर बेस और द स्ट्रॉन्ग द कस्टमर बेस द बेटर द सेल्स and thus finally leading to better profits like for example patanjali now has a customer base across the globe it is mainly because of the product quality and the fair price of the products the last one is innovation business is highly dynamic that is why innovation is really very important in the business sector now a new product type or a new product variation could attract a huge number of customers now this would be termed as innovation innovation is nothing else but inventing a new idea for a particular business now we come towards the types of social objectives the first one is high quality goods at fair price now a customer what does a customer want like what would you want from a seller good quality products the products which are worth for the price you pay and reasonable pricing of course so it is a social responsibility of a seller or a businessman to give you fair quality products at a reasonable price wahan pe milavat ya hoarding ya adulteration ki koi jagah nahi honi chahiye it is a moral responsibility of a businessman and its business organization The second one is fair return to investors. Now a business grows when people invest in it. Investments could be in the form of equity shares, debentures, etc. An investor wants to get fair returns. He wants that his dividend or his share in the profit should be fair so that he can continue with his investments. The third one is contribution to community development. Now, a business is a part of the society as I have mentioned before. It is its moral responsibility to do something for the betterment of the society. And community ke betterment ke liye bahut sari cheeze kar sakta hai ek business like um, uh, setting up libraries, uh, free dispensary services for poor people. paying for blood donation camps or setting up medical camps and much more the fourth one is providing employment we know employment is a major problem in our society these days 
So it is the moral duty of the business to create employment opportunities for both skilled and unskilled people, as well as youth and disabled people. It is the moral duty of the business to do so. Our next topic is role of profit in business. Now we know our business requires profit, but why is it so important? Here are the factors why business requires profit on a regular basis. The first one is for long survival. Now we know market is highly dynamic. It changes every day, every hour. So to survive in this changing market, the business requires continuous profits to fight with the unseen circumstances. The second factor is for rapid growth. Now, if a business earns profit, it is only then it can grow, it can invest, and it can expand its services. The third one is for increasing efficiency. Now, there is nothing more motivating than self-interest. Now, you must be thinking, how is profit for the self-interest? For the owner of the business, the profit works as the self-interest. And also for the workers or the employees there, their bonuses, which are their part in the earning of profit. And for the workers and employees, it is their bonuses which act as the motivating factor, as it is their share in the profit earned. It is the bonus which is their share in the profit earned. The next one is for building prestige and recognition. Now a business to be known and to be recognized in the market requires goodwill. And this goodwill is a result of consistent and continuous profits. Like for example, if I own a business, my business would be famous in my locality only when my profits are consistent. The last factor is for earning more profit. It goes like a cycle, profit, investments, more profit. Thus, the profit earned acts as a catalyst for more profits. Catalyst means the increasing factor. For example, if I earn profits, I can invest in my business further. And those investments will give me more returns. In short, my profit will increase. I hope it is clear. Now the question is, what is business risk? It refers to the possibility of inadequate profits or even losses in the business because of uncertainties. I have underlined a few key terms here. The first is possibility of inadequate profit. Now, a business risk can arise from a business not earning regular profits. When a business ke profits are irregular, hone lagte hai, ya bilkul hi nahi hone lagte hai, ya losses hone lagte hai, to business risk ka impact bad jata hai. And of course, the uncertainties attack the business. Uncertainties refers to those unforeseen events that can damage the business. Now, all a businessman can do is control the damage and be prepared for the further events. Now, I am going to tell you about the nature of business risk. The first is, risk is the result of uncertainties. Risk kyun aata hai? Risk aata hai kyunki unforeseen events kabhi bhi ho sakte hai. Kyunki business sector ek highly dynamic area hai. Yaha changes rows hote hai, har ghante hote hai. The second is, risk is unavoidable. Now, since a business is not a bed of roses, Risks are always going to be there. They are not avoidable completely. All a businessman can do is be prepared to fight the circumstances and protect his business. The third is degree of risk varies from with the size of business. Now degree of risk varies with the size of business. When it is a small scale business, the risk factor is small. Whereas, it is a large scale business, then the risk factor is larger. 
also when a business is of the regular commodities required by people for example like that of dals pulses salts the risk factor is less because end of the day people are going to come and buy those products on the other hand if it is a fashion related business trends change very quickly thus it can cause a risk of unsold items the fourth one is profit is consideration of taking risks now a person who takes big risks but calculated risks can earn huge profits profit reward hota hai profit inam hota hai risk len profit inam hota hai risk lene ke liye but a person should take calculated risks aise hi nahi ki kuch bhi kar diya एक प्रॉपर स्टडी करनी चाहिए जिसके अकॉर्डिंग रिस्क लेने चाहिए और एल्स अ पर्सन कैन एंड अप लूजिंग हिज बिजनेस द फिफ्थ वन इज रिस्क डिपेंड्स अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द बिजनेस नाउ इफ अ बिजनेस इज ऑफ द डेली कमोडिटीज देन द रिस्क फैक्टर इज लेस द इलास्टिसिटी इज मोर बट द रिस्क फैक्टर इज लेस एज द डेली कमोडिटीज आर ऑलवेज इन नीड बट ऑन द अदर हैंड if the business is of some unique item or some costly item luxurious item maybe then the risk factor is more now i am going to tell you about the causes of business risks the first one is natural causes natural causes are related to the natural calamities that cause an impact towards the business i'm going to explain these in detail in the further slides the next is human causes the problems created by human beings that impact the business and the last but not the least is the economic cause the changes in the market the changes in the government policies that cause an impact towards the business now here is the detailed explanation of each and every cause of business risk the first one is natural causes these include causes which are beyond a man's control they are natural in nature to check them is not simply possible all we can do is prepare for them as they are unavoidable but a proper preparation and precaution can help control the damage there are three types of natural causes the first is seasonal changes which are related to changing of seasons when seasons change demand changes and thus an unforeseen risks arises but we can always prepare for that risk by keeping the quantity that we are having to sell in a limited amount so that there is not any risk of unsold items then comes the geographical changes when there's an earthquake or a cyclone there is a huge damage that can be caused to a business our all a business can do is to prepare for it now comes other natural calamities now these other natural calamities can include lightning or wildfire etc now comes human causes as we know we humans are always ready to create problems so there are many problems that the employees in the firm create man has an important role in creating business risks it includes all the causes born out of human carelessness and dishonesty checking the risks created by man is profitable for the entire society and the country as well as the business now comes types of human causes the first one is dishonesty by employees now the employees of the firm can be dishonest at times and this can create huge problems for business now dishonesty could be an employee transferring some important information from a business to the rivals now this is a serious problem second is dishonesty by customers the customers can refuse to pay they can leave the customer base and this is also a huge problem that a business needs to face the third one is strikes the labor in the business can cause huge harm to the working of the business by sitting on strikes they can be of any type whether to increase the wage whether to lessen the working hours etc The fourth one is working carelessly. Now a huge damage to the business organization can be caused when the employees in the business work carelessly. So it is really very important to keep a check. Now comes the economic causes. 
Now, what are economic causes? Economic causes are those causes which arise due to change in government policies or due to change in the forces of demand and supply. The first one is change in fashion. Now, fashion changes every day, maybe every hour. So, the risk that arises is that of unsold commodities. Now, it can happen that a businessman has a particular type of clothing सारे क्वांटिटी में मंगाई हो, as in बल्क में मंगाई हो, but the fashion has changed, the consumer choices have changed, तो अब वो unsold रह जाएगा, so this is a huge loss and a huge risk. The second is change in prices. Now prices of commodities change due to government policies or due to forces of demand and supply. They can always change as it is highly dynamic sector. They can always change as it is a highly dynamic sector. Thus, a businessman needs to have a cope-up strategy handy in this case. The last one is effect of competition. Now, competition can be seriously damaging when it is unhealthy. A businessman can reduce his price in order to affect your sale. Thus, a businessman needs to be strategically ready in order to face such situations. That's all for today guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and learnt. If you have any queries, please do drop a comment below.